Hey everyone, Mary here. We're back in the wonderful world of Ashley Clark, and um, you gave me some great tips about the lock, and it was one that I would have never thought about. This is the arrows. Like, this is the one, and then if we go for that one, and then if we go for this one, and then if we go for that one, and then if we go for that one. I'm an idiot. So clearly the way this works is that clock or that that puzzle was about the arrows pointing you in the right direction not necessarily the arrows being um the the direction of the arrows on their own being important to here so we could use the shears to do some hedge trimming to get the ladder and to go up there this is the source of the glow turned out to be a bronze statuette taken to pieces first i need to deal with the dust and dirt so this the statuette remains intact i mean you want me to you want me to poke it with a stick please tell me that you don't want me to actually poke that shit with a stick i mean i will but that's not typically how you do this. What you usually do is you find some sort of brush. Which, this would be a good spot for a brush to exist, right? Um, maybe not. Maybe I've overstepped my assumption as to how one has a brush. There's, there's no brush here. There's no brush here. Also, the wing on there? No. Okay, we just gotta check. I mean, they have invisible rocks. No, get... No, no, no talking to that guy. I was gonna say, get in the car, check the trash can. Anything other than that dangling is useless. He has a no use. Uh, Some sort of brush. Monkey hair. It's not a monkey, it's a gorilla. Okay. There's a battery. Got myself another hint, which is neat and all. I like that. Um, nerp, nerp, nerp. Okay. I was going to say, don't. I really don't want it to be you just poke it with a stick, so. Oh, we're just going to get out of here and go look around. For any brush like items. And I'm worried that it's going to be just one that's just like, oh, we hit it by an invisible rock. Why didn't you look at the invisible rock location for the brush head? So, what's that? Nothing. Okay. Lots of random clicks. Nothing there. Stick to move that? No. I would not have been surprised, though. I'm curious as to what that is. I'm also curious as to why that looks different from everything else. Put the long stick in it. Nope. Yep. Hmm. First, I need to deal with the dust and dirt so the statue remains intact. The hell does that even mean? The, the English in this is just not English. It gets close, but it's like, I we could tell that this is your second language. Developers might want to um, invest in some translations. But that's just me being nitpicky because I am trying to buy time. Try to figure out. We're going to hit him with a stick. Get sticked. He didn't care. Don't tell. Oh, do I have to poke the gorilla with the stick in order to get a bit of gorilla fur? We're going to try it. Oh, why am I doing this? Okay, good. It literally wasn't. Poke the gorilla with a stick and get some gorilla fur to make a uh, 
a brush. But I'm not, I, I'm a little surprised that it wasn't that. I, I, I honestly don't see anything that's brush related. Let's, let's do our scan. Nothing in here. Nothing over there. Okay. The problem is, is I have oh, right click apparently is also a click. I don't know if it interacts the same way or not. What my concern is, oh, poke the dead body with a stick. I kind of wish that was the thing. It's like you poke the guy with the stick and he rolls over and you get a brush out of it. Why? What? What's the problem there? Can we give him a stick for an arm? That would be that would be way too funny. As you could tell, it's a good thing I'm not the one who developed this game because it'd be like, yeah, you take the stick and you put it in his arm, and the next thing you know, bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a gorilla, a stone paw, son of a bitch. You kind of use the stick to get the gorilla's arm. I got it. I like it. Th thank you. Who the fuck puts that in a gorilla's mouth? That's a choking hazard. And a brush. That's a disgusting place for that brush. Do not put that brush near your face. Ashley, it won't do any good for you. I flew. Oh, okay. I was like, is this all I have? One 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 poof? New objects. Okay. I was like, when can I start playing with it? I mean it's not exactly a challenging puzzle here. Whoa. There's Ashley. Look, a banana. Oh no. My sensible heels. You have betrayed me, sensible heels. Why would I wear these to an investigation? I don't know. Where am I? Help, I've fallen and I have found Bejeweled. I found myself in some ancient catacombs. I can't return to where I was. It's too high. I need my platform shoes to reach that high. I'll have to find another way out. Oh no, a sword. I'll take that. Give me that battery. Give me that thing too. Oh, okay. Why can't I get that one? Do I have to break this? Ah, there we go. Oh, uh, there's, there's another one of these somewhere around here. Uh, that's that's a, a fun looking design. Smash that. Look in there. Oh, smash that. Give me those. I got all the dicks. Discs. Well obviously that goes there, so we'll do that. Ooh, bejeweled pieces. I am the bejeweled king. Literally, we literally are playing Bejeweled right now. <laughs> really? It's, it's like required I do that? Why? Stop it. I know how to play Bejeweled, game. Look at that. It's in there trying to tell me how to play Bejeweled. Bejeweled's been out since you were born, Ashley. I've been playing this for decades. Bejeweled. You were molded by it. Oh, no, no, no. It's you adopted it. I was molded by it. Seriously, Bejeweled's actually a fun game. This is not a great interpretation of that game. It tells you too much. Like, hey, do this. Hey, you're an idiot, right? You don't know how to game because you're probably a girl. And girls don't game. So we're going to tell you how to play. 
constantly. What turdwads? This is like the next to hardest mode too, which means, you know, they literally don't know that you, you know how to game. The non-thinking mode. Okay. I am just... I am blown away. I am still blown away by that hint system. It's like just literally just gives you an arrow. We have to get all of these squares, by the way. If you hadn't figured it out yet. Which you probably haven't because, obviously, very difficult to figure out what to do here. I mean, hello. Clearly, we don't know how to game at all. Unless it's a fail timer, I literally don't give a shit about it. Uh, where are we going to go with this? How do we want to do this? Let's go... Yeah, that, like that's fine. We just need to get that piece down here, which is going to be fairly easy to do. We can grab those two. Easy peasy, Japanesey. So apologies if that's offensive. I didn't even think about it before I said it. It's just a saying that some friends and I grew up saying... And then I, I just listened to myself and was like, ah, it's mildly offensive. Let's not be that. Oh, shit, snacks. That's actually a good move. Boom. A kerplurp. Done. World's greatest. Oh, look, a multi layered puzzle door. How great. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. Can I just go straight into the puzzle? No, that's. It's too much for me, sir. Too much for me, indeed. These don't even... These don't even, like, counter-rotate. It's literally just rotate. Wow. That's not a puzzle. I, I realize that this is a big fish game. It's not, like, the world's most challenging puzzles. I was expecting a little bit more. Especially after getting hooked or stuck on that one. <gasps> Mr. Fleming! Huh? My head is floating. You! Oh, look out, you! I have a stick. I have made you lay down and will drag you across the dirt now. My head? Huh? Who was it? Unfortunately, I couldn't see his face. Am I in a box? Or in a coffin? Or a coffin box? Hey, cool. I got a lighter. Anything else? Nope, just lighter. Then we'll use that to pry that out. Now I got a nope, I don't have a nail. Uh, okay. So it literally just Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Super challenging. And somebody else lifts me out of the coffin. Oh, he didn't make it. Like that. Uh yep. Okay. Alright. What you got for me? Why, how are you still breathing, boss? Looking real good there. We'll take that. Grab that. Wake up! Oh, I can't. Let's throw that at him. Nope. Okay. I was just thinking maybe I throw it at that guy. Apparently not. Oh. There we go. Got a horn. I'm excited about the horn. Oh, that goes... Me right there. Oh, scary. Uh, where am I? What's going on? Hi, Joseph. Let me go. Please. But how can I do it? My typewriter. Uh, fix it. No, I'm good, thanks. Also, you're you're a bit My of a typewriter. Uh, you're a bit of a skeleton. Oh. I don't know that you know that you're a bit of a skeleton, and that's not great for me. A centipede leg. I guess that's the centipede, huh? Yep. How did that get me an extra My typewriter. Oh, shut up. I'm working. 
yeah, like, but how can I do it? Like, make her a strong female character. Maybe I need to, like, go do this. Like, go make one of these style games. Just make it not shitty. Should I do that? You think I should make a point-and-click adventure game that's not shitty and, and see what we can get here? Oh, we got that. Spider... The spider is in the tin. Okay. Uh, binoculars. We go for some binos. Some binoculars. These are the hard ones to find. I don't know if you have to find them in any particular order, by the way. There's a snake. We probably need something to to deal with that. There's the spider. But that's not the spider in the tin. There's a scorpion too. I don't I don't really like that. Okay. Horn, a couple of handbells, a padlock, which is right there. Thought I I thought I clicked it, but I did not. Um, that paper apparently does something. Key goes to that box, which gives me the binoculars and a cool box. A handbell. Nice. I like it. Oh, we got that. I really want those teeth. A stick. Poke the snake. Got whatever that was. I got whatever that was. Got that. Mushrooms. There's a lot of paper. Does, does the paper go in like something? Or does it get burned? Does it make the typewriter cartridge? Because that's not how typewriters work. I don't know if the developers know how a typewriter works. Oh, click too much. Got way too excited. Apologies. <laughs> you have clicked too much. The spiders in the tin. Got that. Uh, papers. Hmm. I know where the papers are. I can collect the papers. I don't have anything to put the papers in, though. Uh, have we seen a belt yet? I have not seen a belt yet. There's that. Lantern. There's the belt. There's that. The mushrooms. There's those. Little portabellers. Now the papers. So what do we pay, put the papers in? Oh, nope, not, not my intention. Um the stapler that doesn't look like a stapler but okay it looks like a hole punch not a hole punch but uh something anyways we'll staple those together i found a typewriter cartridge oh delightful flip. look i fixed your typewriter now give me some bacon i was a writer once and this is my whole life's work and it must be finished. We'll finish typing it. What? What? Yeah, I know. Play it again. Three, zero, seven, nine, one, six, five, eight, four, two, three, zero, seven, nine. Fuck. Oh, where's my notebook? Oh, balls. I bought a notebook just for games and now it's gone. Okay, wrong combination, we know. Three, zero, seven, nine, one, six, five, four, two. I think I may have missed one. Three zero seven 
nine, one, six, five, four, two. Nope. Three, zero, seven, nine, one, six, five, eight, four, two. Eight, four, two. Okay. This is not a typing game. Let me tell you that. Nine, one, six, five, eight, four, two. I unlocked it! I think it's going away. Oh, thank you, stranger. Collect the parts of the centipede. And you will find the exit. So, the recorded line sounded great. The written line, you can definitely tell it's not somebody speak that's that's a first language or English language writer. My pain, it goes away. The spoken line, my pain, it is going away. Later, dude. Thanks for giving me that last piece I need for the door. <laughs> Gross. Oh, I can't. I can't leave. Okay, that's fine. We gotta turn all the legs on. All the king's legs. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's an interesting challenge that I've just solved right here. Oh, I have not solved it. Huh. How does that light that one up? Alright, whatever. I feel like the developers just kind of gave up on these puzzles. They were like, man, these puzzles are hard to program. How are we going to do this? And they were just like, you know what? Let's not fucking worry about it. That's how. <laughs> these are hard. We don't have to worry if we don't want to worry. You know what I'm saying? Let me just, just make these randomly light things up. It's great. Like, why is that one running? Because these puzzles don't have a real solution. Oh, look at that. So neat. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be so hateful. Alright, now that's independent. We don't have to worry about that one. We can kind of go our own way here. Uh, nope, not like that. There's that way. It doesn't really work for me, does it? It does not other me. It does not. I don't know why this one's even running. But I do know we're relatively close to a solution here. Why would I skip it? This is like the whole point of playing this game is the puzzles. Why would I skip any of the puzzles? That doesn't make any damn sense. Literally turns that one off. Got it. 
Got it. Turns out. Okay, we don't actually need to light that one up. So apparently that one's gonna run regardless. I don't see a reason not to light it up, but. Why doesn't it light that one up though? And why doesn't it light that one up though? You see where I'm going with this? Questions about the rules, because I have this whole side lit up, well not all of them are actually being fed directly. Which tells me that the flow does not matter as much as the um, developers like to imply, let's put it that way. Because there's no way to actually feed directly into there. So why isn't that one lighting up? Well, let me tell you a story. How about my how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Got in one little fight. My mom's got scared. She sent me to live with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. does not like this solution at all. Alright, it likes that solution, so now we just gotta figure out this side. Yeah, that, uh, that's not gonna... That's not gonna get us anywhere we wanna be. That will, though. Well, now see what had happened was we got real close. And then we wasn't as close as we thought we was, because now all of a sudden we gotta get, figure out how to get these to light up. We're down to one. There's one question. Oh, it's already lit up. It's these two that have to be lit up. That that solves that problem. There we go. That makes no damn sense. They lit up in such weird ways. How do I get that? Do I just chuck that over there? It's seven. I don't know what seven means. I feel like we're coming back in this room though. That's a cool room. We can't just do it once. Also, like, like that. See, that's not done. Yeah, we'll be back in here. The next hall turned out to be flooded. The refrigeration pipe runs along the wall. I'll take that hammer. Seven. I'm missing. I'm obviously missing a piece, but I bet it's seven. Another battery. Uh, I got a mirror. No, don't don't break the mirror. Break the skull though. Oh, not what I wanted. Nope. Got a shovel. Got a little bit of rope. Got that to fix the thing. That that's still in the way. That's also a puzzle, another puzzle. How am I 
like anywhere near there. I thought that was broken. That it was flooded. No, you don't want to use that. Or that. Okay. I mean, if you want to just limit yourself, you go right ahead. Right, let's let's go back here. We can get some water going. Apparently not. Nope. No mirror to scare the bat? Come on. Really no spade to get a second level thing? Not a mirror there. Come on. Really? No? Probably fi finish the stained glass and then we can do it. All right, back out here. I need something else. Torch, there we go. That'll scare the bat away. Shoot. Really? Nothing, huh? What the hell's the torch for? Unless it's for the cannon. Oh wait, fuse. How does the fuse not go on the cannon? It's gotta be. I gotta like shoot something out of the cannon, maybe. No, come on. This is more like it. These are the puzzles we're looking for. I didn't think a hammer, but you know, you gotta try it. Can't get past there. Ah, <sighs> okay. The bat. We kill the Batman. Clearly we don't. I you know, just hit it with a hammer. Do we hit the bat with a hammer? I'm really happy with how small the amounts of animal abuse in this game are. Because they have a lot of opportunities for me to just like poke animals and then beat them. And yeah, I'm kind of pleased with how little animal abuse options we have. I still still feel like we are not ready for that chest like we're missing a piece uh, nope none of those will work on that so we're also not ready for that one alrighty well I think we're about out of time But I still feel like it's cannon into wall, and the fuse goes in the cannon, but, you know, I don't really know where, where they want the fuse, or what they're doing, and also, I don't know how to get that, because apparently a spade does in it, and a hammer on the skull does not do it lighting it up does not work either can't, can't light it on fire which is a real shame I do like lighting shit on fire that's always fun and I don't have any tool for that yet there's gotta be like a also I don't know why I didn't keep the lighter there's got there's gotta be um, another uh, hidden object somewhere there it is. Mirror on that. Shines on the bat. The bat flies away and gives us the missing tile. The missing tile puts us there. 
Arrange the tiles so the same images neither come together horizontally nor vertically. Three and three is six. That that doesn't work. Um, two and two is four. Five and one is six. Uh. Four and one is five. So five. Um, this is an interesting conundrum. I wonder if I'm overthinking this and it's literally one, two, three, four, five, and six. The answer to that is a monumentally loud duh. Um. I'm not really sh I, I believe that we're, all, we're supposed to get eyes on all of these. Um. So we're going to try that right now. Uh, four. I don't know what, I guess four, five, six. That works for that. Yep, there we go. I don't know what the rules were. Actually, I think I, I think I know sort of what the rules were. Um, they were like, you've got to, you've got to line them up so that, uh, it was like two, three, four, one, two, three, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing. How's the torch? Oh, I don't have a cannonball. Damn. Is that all that was in there? The gunpowder? Really? Did Spade make that move? No, okay. I was going to be so confused. Alright, I really wish the sound would stop resetting when I do this. Wait, you know, I thought I'd try. Torch in? No, okay. I didn't think that was it. But, you know, you, you got to try. All right. We've made some progress. I like it. Uh, we've gotten a little bit closer to, to getting into the next chamber. Freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, if you have any comments, suggestions, throw them in the comment section below. And, of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button. And YouTube will let you know when to get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.